Hey everyone, welcome to the OptusBand podcast. In today's episode, I'm going to share with you an article that I recently wrote for a special issue of Scientific American. If you haven't seen the special issue yet, I'd encourage you to check it out. Um, it's called HealthSpan, The Science of Aging Well, and there's a bunch of really cool content um, in this special issue. We'll put a link to the URL on the show notes. Um, articles in here from people like Lee Hood. Lee is actually one of our scientific advisors at Optispan, also uh, just a huge figure in the fields of systems biology and scientific wellness. Another article by Eric Verdon, the CEO of the Buck Institute. Morgan Levine has an article in here on biomarkers and biological clocks. Francesca Duncan has an article in here on the ovaries uh, and aging of the ovaries and how that impacts health. So again, just a huge collection of really good stuff all around this topic of aging biology and health span. So the article that I wrote is titled Health Span Medicine, and it's really meant to be both uh, sort of a description of current state of the art in this space and also a, a call to action for uh, a community of people to come together to create sort of best practices around this new type of medicine. And so what I thought I'd do today is, is read it to you. Um, for those of you who like to listen to uh, podcasts, uh, this is an opportunity if you don't want to read the article um, yourselves, but I certainly encourage you to do that as well. So the, as I mentioned, the article is titled um, A Practical Approach to Healthspan Medicine with the header, Some Forward-Thinking Physicians Are Forging a New Protocol for Keeping Their Patients Healthy as They Age. And there's this um, pretty cool graphic that the folks at Scientific American came up with, uh, with doctors kind of pulling the health span curve out closer to the lifespan curve. Um, okay, so for many people, a car is simply a way to get around. Drive it. Fill the tank now and then, and when it breaks down, take it to the shop. When it wears out, trade it in for a new one. This breezy attitude is fine for cars, but a lousy way to run healthcare. Yet that is how medicine has worked in the U.S. for years. When we get sick, we go to the doctor for a fix. The problem is, when our bodies wear out, we can't trade it in for a new one. The reactive approach that has characterized U.S. healthcare for decades has worn thin. It is no longer economically sustainable. It has created a situation where more people spend a greater number of years suffering from chronic disease than ever before. As a result, there is a growing movement toward a proactive medicine that focuses on keeping body and mind healthy into old age, increasing health span, or years lived in good health, to something closer to lifespan. It's a maintenance program of sorts for the only body you'll ever have. Healthspan medicine is a work in progress. There is no definitive how-to guide or protocol to follow. We need further discussion among clinicians, researchers, and policymakers, as well as advances in the technologies at our disposal. However, many of the basic tenets are beginning to take shape. These include a focus on early detection through advanced screening and diagnostics, a recognition of the interconnectedness of human biology as a system of systems, and understanding the critical role that aging biology plays as a root factor for most causes of disability and death. At Optispan, the healthcare technology company I lead, we are developing a best-in-class healthspan medicine program. Our goal is to enable access to rigorous, science-based health optimization for as many people as possible ultimately scaling it to the point where it becomes a mainstream approach to healthcare. The upside is that millions of people will be able to preserve their vitality for many years, even decades, that might otherwise have been compromised by chronic disease. Many challenges remain, but our work is showing that it may be possible to create a future where a longer life is synonymous with a better one. Fundamentally, healthspan medicine is about determining where each person is on their health journey and helping them improve their trajectory. First, it is necessary to establish current health status as comprehensively as possible. We introduce the patient to the concepts of health span medicine through a gateway experience, which includes extensive evaluation. Ideally, a single clinical site would have all the necessary equipment and personnel to carry out the gateway experience in a single day, though this isn't essential. 
This Gateway Day collects essential patient information and has a strong psychological and emotional impact. It marks the beginning of a lifelong journey. Afterwards, we follow up with regular coaching and biomarker updates. These provide ongoing support and metrics to evaluate progress and monitor for early signs that could lead to disease. At the foundation of health span medicine are the pillars of health. These are easily understood through four simple verbs, eat, move, sleep, and connect. These words encompass the ideas that nutrition and diet, which include eating healthy food in the right amounts, getting regular physical exercise and quality sleep, and maintaining balance through mindfulness and human relationships are all necessary for optimal health. These fundamental lifestyle factors currently offer the greatest opportunities to expand healthy longevity and delay disease. Many primary care clinicians recognize how important these pillars are to their patients' health and well-being, but doctors are often reluctant to advocate lifestyle changes because they're considered too hard to act on. When doctors do address them, they generally give fragmented, outdated, and one-size-fits-all recommendations. In a rigorous health span medicine practice, doctors and coaches evaluate these pillars with a combination of patient-reported information, physiological biomarkers, functional assessments, and wearable devices for continuous monitoring. They identify opportunities for improvement and develop a personalized health optimization program. Effective health span medicine relies on regular feedback to the patient, which empowers and encourages self-determination. In our experience, this works best with a team that includes a medical professional, the patient, and at least one coach or advocate, a new type of healthcare professional called the HealthSpan coach. At OptiSpan, our HealthSpan coaches are trained in the principles and practices of health optimization. They have a working knowledge of systems medicine, geroscience principles, and the pillars of health. They are informed about and empowered by the best technologies available to support behavior change, such as artificial intelligence tools. Coaches provide regular feedback, encouragement, and strategies that support long-term health-promoting behaviors. Rather than focus on individual diseases in isolation, health span medicine relies on a systems biology framework to understand how the human body can function optimally. It considers health to be the balanced coordination of interconnected organs, tissues, and cells. For simplicity, these are often categorized based on functions such as cardiovascular, gut, hormonal, immune, skin, respiratory, and musculoskeletal. Understanding how they interact with each other and using biomarkers, molecules that indicate how biological systems are functioning, allow us to detect early perturbations that might knock an individual's health trajectory off course. These perturbations often suggest some corrective action we might take. In this way, we can identify each person's highest risks, and monitor the progress of mitigation strategies. Geroscience, the scientific discipline linking biological aging with age-related functional declines, informs much of health span medicine. Major advances in geroscience over the past two decades have identified key mechanisms of aging, which have been formalized into 12 hallmarks, along with a growing understanding of the molecular networks that underlie, connect, and regulate these hallmarks. In recent years, new technologies have allowed for the development of high-dimensional molecular signatures of biological aging, or clocks, that appear to correlate with individual disease and mortality risk. While useful as research tools, clinical application of so-called biological aging clocks, particularly those marketed direct to consumer, should be approached with caution to avoid confusing patients and inducing unnecessary anxiety. In our experience, current biological age assessments may provide useful insights when used in combination with more established biomarkers, but they are not yet sufficiently validated for mainstream application. The most effective approaches to slow biological aging are tightly coupled to the pillars of health, eat, move, sleep, connect. Estimates suggest that many people can gain more than a decade of health span simply by improving their pillars. There is also growing interest in drugs or supplements that can potentially mimic or enhance these lifestyle approaches. Preclinical studies have identified several gerotherapeutics, drugs that increase lifespan and health span in laboratory animals. Some of these studies provide indirect evidence for potentially similar benefits in humans. 
As a result, a small but growing number of practitioners are specializing in off-label prescriptions for putative longevity therapies, such as rapamycin, metformin, SGLT2 inhibitors, and other drugs. Two additional classes of therapeutics worthy of mention here are hormone optimization strategies and GLP-1 anti-obesity drugs, such as Ozempic, Wegovi, and Munjaro. These have seen a surge in popularity and a corresponding increase in the number of providers who are willing to prescribe them, including many who have co-opted the phrase longevity medicine without any real background knowledge or training in the field. While there is evidence that these therapies, when used properly, can enhance health span for many people, and perhaps even slow biological aging itself, there is also the potential for harm. For example, many patients lose significant muscle mass and bone density from GLP-1 agonists when prescribed in isolation, placing them at higher risk of frailty and potentially counteracting benefits attained in other domains. Such negative outcomes are largely preventable when use of these medications is approached through the framework of a holistic health span medicine program. It is important to recognize that off-label use of pharmaceutical or natural products to slow biological aging is currently highly speculative. Their risk-reward profiles are evolving with new data, and few definitive biomarkers are available to evaluate individual efficacy. Given the growing appetite for access to these therapies, there is an urgent need to develop validated biomarkers and expert guidelines to help responsible practitioners in best meeting the needs of their patients. Widespread adoption of health span medicine has the potential to give most Americans 10 to 20 years of additional high-quality life. The social and economic dividends from recovering these lost decades are enormous. Indeed, a recent estimate from the McKinsey Health Institute calculated that for each year of increased healthy life, the U.S. would see $38 trillion in economic gain. While some will claim that this kind of care is only for the rich, applying only a fraction of these gains would be sufficient to provide top-tier health span medicine to every man, woman, and child in the U.S. For this to happen, however, at least two significant barriers must be overcome. First, incentive structures will need to change to encourage aggressive preventative care. Such a change will require insurers, administrators, and policymakers to recognize that keeping people healthy is ethically and economically superior to keeping people sick. In this regard, health span medicine is not a replacement for reactive disease care and need not threaten entrenched interests in the healthcare industry. Even with optimal prevention, people will still get sick. Yet, because health span medicine often detects problems early on, it provides opportunities for more effective treatments to halt or even reverse the trajectory of disease. This has the potential to alleviate stress on hospitals, providing acute care, and reduce the enormous burden of chronic disease. Second, responsible stakeholders must align on a core set of values, standards, and best practices. While a growing number of practitioners are embracing many of the concepts of health span medicine, the field remains fragmented and quality of care is uneven. Unfortunately, some self-identified longevity medicine providers prioritize cosmetic treatments, unproven experimental procedures, or excessive reliance on supplements over evidence-based approaches grounded in rigorous science. Adding to the challenge, misinformation from online personalities and direct-to-consumer companies promoting questionable products has fueled skepticism and undermined trust in the field. To move forward, it is imperative that practitioners commit to ethical, transparent, and science-driven practices. By fostering collaboration, self-regulation, and accountability, the healthspan medicine community can elevate its credibility and unlock its potential. We have an extraordinary opportunity to transform the quality and quantity of life for millions of people using the tools and knowledge available today. By reaching a consensus on protocols and approaches rooted in rigorous science and clinical best practices, the field of health span medicine can inspire confidence among patients and the broader medical community. As this vision takes shape, health span medicine has the potential to become a cornerstone of modern healthcare ensuring that longer lives are not just possible, but also vibrant and fulfilling. With collaboration, innovation, and a shared commitment to proactive care, we can create a future where everyone has the opportunity to thrive at every stage of life. If you have any 
questions or comments, please leave them below. I promise we'll read them, we'll respond to them. Um, I really do believe that health span medicine is the future of healthcare. It really needs to be. Um, to learn more about how we're making this a reality, please check out our website, www.optispan.life. And while you're there, if you'd like a hard copy version of the Scientific American uh, magazine, um, sign up for our newsletter on the website, then click the request for consultation button. You don't have to request a consultation, but under program inquiry, select other. And then in the text box, write Scientific American along with your most effective longevity strategy or just something fun if you don't want to do that. I'll send the first 20 people who do this a copy of the magazine along with a personal note from yours truly. All right. Thanks a lot for listening to this episode of the OptusBand podcast, and I hope to see you again in the future.